Toronto police have arrested 10 people, including six youth, in connection with 26 violent takeover style robberies at pharmacies across the city. The robberies, which police said involved groups of suspects entering pharmacies armed with guns, knives, or using physical violence, all happened between December 2022 and February 2023. Inspector Rich Harris of the Holdup Squad said he believes that the young persons involved in these armed robberies were lured by the quick money that they were able to make and is urging the pharmacies to be vigilant and, if possible, to invest in good surveillance cameras, panic alarms, time delayed safes, and make sure those safes are being closed at all times to protect themselves. In 2022, there were a total of 124 pharmacy robberies in Toronto. So far this year, there have been 45 pharmacy robberies in the city, compared to 11 at this time last year. Let's listen in to more details given by the police. Uh, Jashade, J-A-S-H-A-I-D-E, Clark with an E, 20 years, and a boy 17 years of age, both in Mississauga, were arrested and charged with numerous criminal offences. Uh, I just really want to reiterate that we're talking about 26 pharmacy robberies and 10 arrests made in Project Mayhem. Of those 10 arrests, six of them were young persons. Eight of the individuals arrested were ready before the courts on firearm, robbery, and property-related offenses, and they were out on bail. The Toronto Police Crime Prevention Officers are routinely visiting pharmacies throughout the city to discuss safety tips, and in fact, we're holding a virtual town meeting uh, town hall meeting this evening with, uh, with our area pharmacists. Uh, we continue to recommend that pharmacies, if possible, invest in good surveillance cameras, panic alarms, time-delayed safes, and make sure those safes remain closed at all times. We know there are older people involved in organizing these crimes who are making it very lucrative for the young persons to get involved. To parents, caregivers, guardians, I urge that you check in with your, uh, your children, uh, for lack of a better term. Ensure that you know what they are up to. Question them and challenge them if they're in possession of large quantities of money and, of course, prescription narcotics.